also a warning this morning for anyone who does own property here in Arizona, and especially if that property is vacant. Scammers are targeting you now more than ever. All new for you this morning are Joe Ducey, with one owner sharing his story of a fraudulent seller, fake signatures, and how he nearly lost his property. He may not know exactly what's growing here. It's a green plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Wade Rasmussen knows the value of his North Scottsdale land has been growing a lot since he bought it more than 20 years ago. The plans to keep it until he and his wife retire. It's not supposed to be for sale. No, not at all. Okay, not at all. No sale. No sale. Yet there it was, listed for sale on Zillow. At first I'm like, I sit back and I'm like, what do I do? Wade found himself in a growing Arizona scam. People posing as property owners, getting around protections, and listing real estate for sale right out from under the real owners. And land like Wade's is most vulnerable. Most at risk, mm -hmm. uh, free and clear, mm -hmm. owned outright, uh, no mortgages on them, and to some degree sit vacant. Susan Nicholson is Arizona's real estate commissioner. Her office is seeing sophisticated, brazen scammers who are even engaging real estate agents. They always say they don't live inside the state, so you're never going to get that face to face. They are using burner phones. They're using fake email addresses that look like the owner's name. They're assuming aspects of a person's identity. Wade's situation got serious fast. I ended up receiving a notice from um, a title company. Somebody wanted the land, hired Fidelity National Title, and signed a purchase agreement. It even had Wade and his wife's DocuSign signatures as sellers. They somehow got a picture of our digital signature somewhere, and I have no idea where. And while Wade has to deal with that... We got another package uh, from another title company, but with a different buyer's agent. Another sales contract, this one from Driggs Title Agency and a buyer who was very eager. A guy came in to put $5,000 down earnest money on it. The money already in an escrow account. And so at that point, I'm getting nervous. I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. Both Fidelity National and Driggs Title say it's a huge problem, and they constantly try to stay ahead of scammers. In this case, Driggs says they searched the parcel number online, reached out to the owner listed, and says that's the point where we found out we weren't dealing with the actual owner here. We love this area. Wade got lucky. Two scam attempts stopped, money returned, his so land is still his for now. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Wade shared his story so that other property owners, especially owners of vacant land, keep a close eye on that property and to warn officials that more has to be done to protect them. If you're an owner in Maricopa County, there is something you could do. Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know for a link to register your property so you get alerts if anything's recorded on it in a year that should be available for all Arizona counties. I'm investigator Joe Deuce. If you've got a problem, let me know.